Welcome to this Christ family. Please like and share this video. Don't forget to also subscribe to our YouTube channel. There are specific seasons in a person's life that I call the breaking seasons. There are seasons in your lifetime that you must experience if you're going to be used by God. If you want your life to be without breaking seasons, then you will just be an absolute normal person that will not be useful in the agenda of God. And that's not a bad place to be. The only worrisome thing is that you will be a well below average level person or at least an average person in life. But if you want to be used by God, if you want to be great, if God has called you for great things in life, then you will experience these seasons I'm talking about. Some of you right now are experiencing these seasons. It feels like you have been challenged on every side of life. You may feel right now that God is allowing bad things to happen to you. Or you may even feel as though things are getting harder by the day. The more you try, the more harder it becomes. These are the breaking seasons that every great person has had to go through. Go and ask every successful person that you know. You will find out that God had to break them before he could use them. We have some example of great people that went through these seasons. Look at Moses. Moses was born as a judge over Israel, but God allowed him to live in the palace for a while. Little did he know that his stay in that beautiful palace was coming to an end. The day he killed an Egyptian because he was trying to separate a fight, Moses had to run for his dear life. He had to run from the place where he had known as home. He had no clue where he was running to. He went through a period of isolation for 40 years. God was training him for his real assignment in the future. He would have allowed himself to be captured in Egypt, but he chose to run for his life. This is how some of you are on the run right now. It seems as though you are always on the move. You are running away from sickness, from poverty, from debt. It was at those times when he was alone in the bush that God showed up. Look at Joseph. He went through his breaking season. He had a dream like some of you have a dream. But he had to go through the prison before he could enjoy the palace. Don't conclude on yourself just because you are in a particular season. If you are in a winter season right now, I have a good news for you. Spring is coming. The Bible tells us that the word of the Lord tried Joseph in prison. God had to break him. He became more humble, more determined, more passionate to fulfill his calling. God wants to break you before he can use you. God wants to break that your ego, that self, that pride, that laziness, that wrong mindset. That addiction. There are a whole lot of things God will purge you off before he can use you. He's trying to teach you patience by making you wait. He's trying to teach you love by making you talk to that person. He's trying to organize your priorities. A lot of people just want the things God can give to them. But they don't want to go through the process. Let God break you. Let God break your pride. If God doesn't break you, that wrong thing inside of you that God wants to break will destroy you. Sometimes, God will allow you come out of a toxic relationship that you didn't know it was toxic for you. You thought God was wicked, but when you came out, you realized how faithful God was. God will have you leave that boy or that girl so that he can prepare you for the right person he has approved for you. We are too quick to leave the breaking season. It's not comfortable. It will hurt you. You will wish it was not true. It will be painful, but at the end, you will be thankful. If you are in your breaking season right now, just know that you will come out stronger than you entered. That season was not meant to kill you, but to save you.